Holy crap, it's Bushcraft Santa Claus. Check this out. That is a whole heap of sleeping bags. Stay tuned. Okay, so you're thinking to yourself, you've got your first bushcraft knife, you've got your first tarp, you want to go for an overnighter, but there's a million bloody sleeping bags out there, guys. What should I be looking for? What will I pick? What is the best one? What is the best value of money for money, guys? Well, do you know what? I've tested a lot of sleeping bags, so let's have a look at some of the ones I have here. Guys, let's talk through them and let's let me tell you what I think is the best bushcraft sleeping bag and a budget option for that sleeping bag as well. I have a feeling that Bruno is going to be heavily involved in this and probably Cooter as well. He's already there. Can you see him? Yes, you can. No, no, no more stick for this bit. Okay, guys, sleeping bags. No, that's enough. I'm going to be sleeping in one of these tonight. Sleeping bags, guys. There is a lot of them out there. The a lot of them out there, okay? Uh, back when I was first camping and sleeping out and stuff like that, there was not a lot of options. You bought, you had one of those envelope style polyester things and you froze your ass off, guys. You froze your ass off. And when, when I look back on it and I think of it, you know, how, how did I ever keep going when I was a scout? Do you know what I mean? Like, how did you ever keep going back to scouts every weekend? freezing your ass off there was no such thing as sleeping pads or anything like that we all just lay on the ground you know in an Icelandic tent freezing freezing <laughs> oh we have come a long way Bruno that's enough I'm not trying to stick you so look what I have here guys this is the check all of these are ex-army right I have some civilian sleeping bags up and up in the house uh, down sleeping bags, but I never ever use them. It's always some one of these, okay? Guys, this is the Czech Czechoslovakian army surplus sleeping bag, okay? Very bright orange on the inside. Hey, this is rated as a three season sleeping bag, guys, uh, and this is very good, and it's good value for money as well, guys. Approximately, I'm going to say, I think it was 40 pound when 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 this was given to me last year and this was given to me given to me by go army to test now what we're getting into here uh, have i two of the same sleeping bag here i have no i don't okay this is the new british army sleep system the, 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 this is the medium bag this is the medium bag of the new british army sleep system okay and this is the lightweight bag of 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 the same sleep system now do not confuse this with the bouncing bomb or the arctic bag that that people would will swear by guys but i do not rate at all it is something that i could not get on with whether or not the one i got was just a little bit wrecked or it just i never people were saying oh my god it's so toasty and warm no never got it okay never never saw it okay guys this is not bad this is not bad at all this is the Corinthia Defense 4, okay? The cream of the crop, okay? This is excellent. And this here is the US Army Modular Sleep System, okay? This is the old style one, okay? So you have your intermediate bag and you, you have your medium weight bag and you have your lightweight bag and they all clip together and when they clip together, they then uh, clip into a bivy bag as well, a quite heavyweight bivy bag, guys. And this, the medium weight bag of this is very, both of this is a, a good system as well, guys. They're all good systems, right? They're all good systems. Well, which one do I recommend? This is it. From these ones, guys, now I have tested other stuff, but these are the main ones that I have stuck with. Uh, and, and what I recommend, guys, is the Corinthia Defense 4. It is a class sleeping bag. It is just, it's just so well made. It is so well made. It is, it is warm. It is sort of lightweight. Uh, it, you, you, you can get it quite small if you have a compression sack or, or a dry bag with a, with a valve on it, guys. 
it works really well really well I have to say it when I got this I was like right now I understand what this is all about this is really really good army surplus is expensive at the minute guys this is the problem I paid 40 pound for this I'm gonna say off the top of my head 40 pound for this and it was what they would call a uh, super grade used from the military somewhere uh, on eBay these things are about 160 notes brand new so they are expensive okay but if you can get one they have ripstop nylon outer they are just they have like I don't know many heaters sewn into them or something or there's little elves on the inside that run around like this and and, and that generates heat and it keeps you warm but look if you cannot find one guys or you are struggling to get one at a decent price next option guys is going to be the Dutch Army or the British Army medium weight bag guys and this these I have both of them the only difference I can see in them is that the Dutch bag is more in more like in color the Corinthia whereas this one is 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 a is a is a greeny color guys these are copied from the Corinthia these are a direct copy they're made by a company called Fresca or Fresco or is that a drink yes so they have basically got one of these and they have went oh well we can do that for cheaper and they have made these and uh, you can and supplied them to the militaries a lot of different militaries okay guys the thing about this if you get yourself one of these or one of these is that you can get a summer bag and it will tie into the inside of this of the defense four so this is the british army summer bag guys and you can get these for like a tenner these are very cheap well they were very cheap okay so this ties into the inside of this and becomes a sleep system okay but this will also tie into this the corinthia defense four and becomes a sleep system as well guys you know so they're interchangeable and that's the way that i do it so i have the defense four and i then tie this into the inside of it and that works as my my uh my winter sleep system guys and it all works very well i'd be looking at ebay i'd be looking at go army guys i'd be looking at varsteliker all these places have them at varying prices now i seem to remember that yeah everything's expensive at the minute guys you know yourselves bruno stop it with the stick everything is expensive so i would definitely be checking for the ebay's and stuff but if you want to go to go army i will have a discount code below uh, and that is it here's it the bottom line if you have any of these sleeping bags you, you're going to be toasty enough you're not going to be toasty in like minus 856 thousand round zero you're even going to be struggling a little bit guys but then you layer up and you use wool blankets and you have bivy bags and all that stuff that you add into it but guys that is sleep system territory we're talking about i'm trying to keep this <laughs> wally focus on the sleeping bags for a minute sleep systems will be a different video guys my recommendation for the best bushcraft sleeping bag out there is the corinthia defense 4 do yourselves a favor and get one if you can't afford one get the british army or the dutch army equivalent thanks for watching stay frosty you are a pain in the hole why are you being so needy today I'm not throwing it for you. I spent all afternoon throwing it for you. What can I do?